Hey guys, um, today I'm going to um, start with a tutorial to teach you how Openform works, like the basics. Um, with time, we're going to get into deeper subjects. Uh, now, if you don't have Openform on Windows, you need to check the video. I'm going to post the the, the link um, sure in the box below or uh, there's more. I'm going to pause the link, okay? So now let's go ahead. Um, in your menu, you're going to have a folder called Blue CFD Core 2017, and you're going to click on it. Then you press Blue CFD Core folder. In this folder, you're going to have all the components uh, in order to run up and fun on Windows. So just press open form 5 um, straightforward to tutorials um, I'm going to select compressible and then a simple font which is the solver um, for running our case I'm going to copy a simple case so we can reveal just the basics okay so I'm going to copy this I'm going to paste it right in my desktop um, here I'm going to open this using blue CFD core terminal. So I'm going to click here, uh, opening blue CFD core terminal. So when you have a folder, you are going to always have like this possibility of, of open the, the, the folder uh, using blue CFD core terminal. If you don't, just let me know. I'm going to, uh, I, I will help you out, okay? Um, okay, so, Right now, I'm going to open the folder as well. So, uh, sorry, I'm going to open the folder right here. So I'm going to put this here. Um, oh, sorry, this is not what I wanted to, to do. Okay. So on this side, I'm going to, I have the folder with all the contents. I'm going to type ls to just to check the, the content, which is the same, right? Zero or clean or run custom system. In the zero folder, we have the initial conditions for the flow uh, through the airfoil, right? So we have the, the pressure, uh, the velocity, um, and so forth. These are very important. With, without this folder, you can't run the case because basically you don't have, you are not specifying the initial conditions for the flow. Then you have custom in this, in this one, you have the turbulence properties. I'm going to open this just to show you. Uh, in this case, we're using Sparta Morales, Spallard Morales, sorry, if I pronounce it wrong. Uh, turbulence, um, we, are, we have turbulence on, and we're going to print the coefficients once the, the, the computation is done. Um, the transport properties, these are related to the flow um, density and kinematic viscosity. Um, we have the poly mesh, which is uh, the folder containing the, the mesh information. So this is not as a straightforward. This is not as trivial to understand. But uh, the, uh, here we have the cells, which there might be thousands of it. Uh, don't worry, you don't have to generate this code. It's actually made automatically for some programs. We're going to cover the, the meshing process using open phone along, along the way. Uh, we have the faces. Uh, I don't want to bore you with all these things, but we have neighbors, owners, and points. Um, okay, so this is for the, for the, for the folder constant. Now we have system. This controls is the whole simulations. For instance, this is the control lead. Uh, for instance, this controls the, the, the starting time and step, um, um, the, the end time, the start time, um, the right intervals, um, that kind of stuff, right? These are the, the FB schemes. So you can specify the the 
the skins for your for your case. This is a steady state. Um, we are using um, ghost linear. Mm, um, we are using some skins. We are going to cover the skins later on. Um, this is a first order scheme. We are going to mostly use be using um, second order schemes uh, like leaks, least square. But uh, we're going to get deeper into that later on. I just want you to want you to to know the, the environment, like, like the basics. Then we have the FB solution um, where we can specify the 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 solver for for the pressure for the velocity. Um, we can also specify the realization factors, which are going to influence our solutions. Um, are going to and they are going to uh, play an important role um, when we talk about convergence and the time, the computational time of our simulation. So this is for the system folder. Now these are scripts that help you run the case pretty much faster. So um, the the good thing of this thing. Uh, these scripts is that you can like save time because if you want to run the case you will have to run um, you know a simple phone uh, first generate the mesh if you don't have the mesh uh, using uh, blob mesh or a snap mesh or all the, the, the things available and then you have to run the case so it can get pretty messy with, t with time if your case is complicated um, for instance, this is this whole run is pretty easy because the case is simple. But once you go to industry level things, you are going to find that the all run script gets messy and all complicated, right? But if you don't have a screen and all run, um, it's it's probably not a good idea because you need to run the case fast and you need to to save time, which is pretty important, right? Okay, so I'm going to run the case. I'm going to run the case just by typing simple fun. And it's running it's running the case right now. So the only thing I needed to do in order to run the case just was typing the solver. Uh, I typed the solver and you know you have the solution right here. Um, okay, um, yeah, we have a simple solution uh, with 350 iterations. Now I'm going to um, show you guys the, the results. I'm going to type paraphone um, right here. Uh, and this right here, this symbol, allows me to um, just to use continue use the, using this terminal without uh, closing this this window okay I'm going to just apply this and here is our airfoil I'm going to show you the the velocity um, I'm going to put it from zero. Um, so let me show you guys the, the oh, it's pretty great though. <laughs> yep, pretty great. Okay, so this is, that's it, the, the whole solution, right? And you have uh, the pressure right here. Um, you see there is a difference in pressure. Um, this is the lower pressure and this is a high pressure sound. Um, and this is the result. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's not uh, something like uh, very hard to understand, but this is just the basics, just how to run a simple case uh, using OpenFOAM. Now, we're going to get deeper into an airflow case. We're going to set up the whole mesh. We're going to start from zero. Um, so just stay tuned for the next tutorial.